My name is uh, Ronan McRae and I uh, teach a module on the LLM here at UCL called Religion, State and Law. Um, now at your time at UCL you're going to have a chance to do a lot of modules that will have a very clear and direct um, uh, impact and skills for your future career and then other ones that have uh, stretch your intellectual horizons, help you be a good citizen in the world and I think provide a very strong indirect benefit to your future career. And I think this module is one of those. So in this module we look at the relationship between religion, state and the law. And we look at various issues. It's an issue that, that are um, very much in the news these days. Uh, we look at questions about the separation of religion and state. What are the good reasons and bad reasons that states ought to be religiously neutral? Does religious, being religiously neutral require a state to avoid having religious symbols in state buildings or in classrooms? Does uh, the um, parliament politics have to be conducted in ways that don't rely on religious norms to justify laws? Is it, is it allowed to use the law to enforce religious teachings? If not, why not in a liberal society? Uh, we look at the issue of freedom of religion. Religion is very interesting in that way because in some ways freedom of religion can be a zero-sum game in the way that other rights are not. So uh, the freedom of religion of a, a religious school to choose to employ only people of that faith or people who adhere to the teachings of their faith uh, will come at the direct cost of the freedom of religion, for instance, of an individual teacher who wants to work in that school. And we think how we look at how the balance should be drawn in that. Uh, in those kind of clashes. We look at issues around migration and religion. And is it re legitimate for a state to require migrants to sign up to separation of religion and state as part of migration policy? And we look at the whole idea of relig religious freedom. Does religious freedom cover non-religious beliefs like environmentalism um, or veganism? Uh, is it better to view religion as a choice or as a form of identity? Is a religion about what you believe or what you are? And that has a lot of implications for discrimination law. If religion is something you believe, then it can be treated like political opinions. And you can stop people expressing political opinions at work. If it's more something that you are, then it becomes a bit more analogized to things like racial discrimination. Uh, and a lot are more difficult to justify restrictions on it. This is a course that I think students find very challenging intellectually. Uh, it's examined by an essay and uh, it's a 15 credit, credit module that runs in one of the first or the second semester, normally the first semester. It's something that I think is really interesting. It's a really important issue. Uh, when you finish your time at UCL these are issues that are going to be in the news for the next few decades and I think it uh, allows you to be a much better citizen, a much better consumer of news and it's a tremendously enjoyable course, I think, to teach and to take.